Did you just get a new smart display? Let us show you how to set it up. Hey friends, welcome to Quest for Tech, where every day is a quest to find the newest technology in video games. With us being a new channel, we really appreciate your support. So do us a favor and like, subscribe, share, and comment below. And here we go. So this is the Google Home Hub. Nothing new, it's been out a little over a year. Most of you have probably already seen it. But we do have a lot of friends and family that actually got it for Christmas and never opened it up, took it out the box because they didn't know how to hook it up. So we just wanted to do a quick video and show you how to set it up, get it up and running really quickly. Uh, just for reference, this is the Home Hub 7 inch. It is very, very similar to the Lenovo 7 inch that we did the review on that you guys can check out. Only difference is the Home Hub does not have a camera. Everything else as far as what it does, how to use it, you'll find that um, in detail on our Lenovo 7 inch video that you guys can check out. Here we go. Hey everybody. So with setting up the Google Home Hub, the first thing is when you plug it in, the first thing it shows is to get the app. To get the Google Home app, you can get it from either the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. I personally have Android, so I'm gonna go to the Google Play Store. At the top of the screen, you're gonna go and search for Google Home. I already have my Google Home app downloaded, so it automatically says open on my screen, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that. So once it's downloaded, you go ahead and open the Google Home app. When the Google Home app opens, if you already have things connected to it, it will show in your household. At the very top, it will tell you set up Nest Hub or whatever new device that it is that you're setting up, it will give that cue right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on set up Nest Hub. It wants you to choose a home if you have more than one home designated. Now it's looking for the device. So now what it is, is it's going to pair with the actual Google Home Hub. So you see it lists all the nearby devices that it sensed. Nest Hub 5734. And if you look at the actual Nest Hub, it says Nest Hub 5734. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that on my app and click next. Now it says connecting to Nest Hub. On the device itself, it says that to follow the instructions in the Google Home app, and it gives the code M7F8. My phone is giving the same code, so we're gonna go ahead and click yes. Yes, I agree to the additional legal terms. If you don't agree, you really can't actually use the device. Would you like to help improve Nest Hub? I'm always in on that, just so that way it can help any improvements. And I'm gonna choose Brit Room. And then you also want to connect it to your Wi-Fi. And now it's trying to pair to the Wi-Fi. And now it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Before using your Google Assistant, here are a few things to know before using your Nest Hub, it says. The different Google partners, services and privacy, guests and your assistant, YouTube recommendations. If you wanna click through all of those, you can. I'm just gonna go ahead and click next. Activate voice match on this device. I highly recommend activating the voice match so that way if you do have multiple people in your home that are gonna be using this, 
it knows your voice and can give answers specifically to your account. I don't have to re-record my voice because it already has my voice match settings, so I just had to agree to let it sync, and right now that's what it's doing. And I agree. So now it wants you to set up the default music services. You can link YouTube Music, Google Play Music, Spotify, Pandora, and Deezer. For now, I'm just gonna keep the YouTube Music linked. And if you have any radio services like Sirius XM, you can link that here. But I actually don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna click Not Now. And if you have like Hulu, CBS, Stars app or Vicky app, you could go ahead and link those as well. I'm not. If you have Sling TV, it offers you that. I'm not going to do that either. Now it says get started with calls. Use your existing Google Duo account for high quality voice calls with anyone who has Duo. You can also call your own display to talk to people at home. I'm going to go ahead and click continue for that one. All right, we are all set with Google Duo. Now on this page, it asks for you to personalize your photo frame. You can use a slideshow of selected memories from Google Photos. You can choose their art gallery or you can choose to have it as a full screen clock. I'm going to go ahead and click their art gallery. And their art gallery, they give you featured photos, fine art, earth and space, or street art. I'm just going to go with featured photos. Now it says that we're all done and everything's set up. If you wanted, you can add a payment method. So if you wanted to do some online shopping, it's already there. I'm not going to do that. You can also link the video services that you didn't link before from this menu here. We're not going to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and click continue. So now we're going to go ahead and click finish setup on the device itself. Welcome to your Google Nest Hub, the ultimate digital photo frame that does so much more. Check it out. With the Google Photos app on your Android or iOS device, you can bring your favorite memories from your phone to your home. Just select the people and pets you want to see, and Google Photos AI will filter out blurry and low-res photos. With live albums, the best and latest shots you've taken on your phone will automatically appear on your hub, no manual updates required. Nest Hub's ambient EQ allows the screen to adjust on its own to match the color and lighting of the room, so photos blend in with your home. These photos are grouped by people and places, which means you can see related photos together or even search by voice. Hey Google, show my photos of Hawaii. Thanks to your Google Assistant, Nest Hub provides you with help at a glance. Just tap to see your home screen for your commute, calendar, recommended videos on YouTube, music, and more. Hey Google, play Dua Lipa. Swipe down for home view, where you can do things like see the status of your home, control devices in each room, Turn off the lights, adjust the thermostat, and view cameras. And swipe up to adjust settings, volume, and ambient EQ. Remember, if you ever want to learn more about your Google Assistant, just say, Hey Google, what can you do? Ready to give Nest Hub a try? Swipe from the left edge of the screen to exit and get started. So now we're going to go ahead and scroll on over. First, swipe down from the top of the screen. We're going to swipe down. This is where you can find and control devices in your smart home. Any smart home devices you add to the Google Home app will show up here. You can come back later to explore. Now swipe up to close this view. Next, I'll show you where to find settings. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen. This is where you can control some of the settings for this device. Like, screen brightness, volume, 
and a few other things. To hide these controls, tap anywhere on the screen. Now that we've talked about swiping, let's look at some things you can see on your screen. To check out your day, tap anywhere on the screen. Throughout the day, I'll have new things here for you. Anything from what's on your calendar, to top hits on YouTube. To see... Almost done. You can ask me all sorts of questions, and I'll do my best to get you an answer. Try asking me how to bake croissants on YouTube. Google, show me how to bake croissants on YouTube. Sure, showing how to bake croissants videos. When you want to go back or exit, you can swipe from the left edge. Go ahead and give it. Great job. That's all I have for now, so I'll let you have some fun and explore on your own. Just as a final tip, if you want to learn more, you can always ask me, what can you do? Bye for now. And that is how you set up the Google Nest Hub. Well friends, that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate you all going on this quest with us. We're already hard at work on our next videos, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. And let us know in the comments, what devices do you use to make your home smarter? Thanks again friends, we'll see you soon, and never stop questing.